the film industry in Britain never established itself to the commercial and artistic degree which it did in Germany, France, Italy and, of course, America. Hitchcock was soon off to Hollywood, taking with him his predilection for murder and his penchant for the Gothic. It's certainly there in the dream house of Manderley in Rebecca and the house of Oedipal necrophile horrors in Psycho. For the British film industry, though, there'd be a sting in the tail, a return of the repressed. Come with us if you dare, into a twilight world of unspeakable horror. You must die! Everybody must die! <laughs> the vampire lovers. You can't keep a good vampire down. This is Oakley Court Hotel, once owned by the 19th century liberal politician Lord Otto Fitzgerald. During the 1960s, it was used as a set for some of the most commercially successful British films ever made. Hard to believe now, but once. These very walls dripped with blood. Conveniently, Oakley Court's just a few hundred yards from the studio which made some of its films there. Hammer Horror. Now, Hammer closed down in 1979, and the studio hasn't been used since 2010 these days. It's closed up, it's in private hands. But how appropriate that Britain's most famous makers of horror films should have worked out of an 18th century Gothic-style mansion, like a piece of Strawberry Hill, Horace Walpole's Gothic house blown up river. But I'm headed in the opposite direction. I'm going east. 